We're just about wrapping up this waterfall project. This is the perfect time for me to take you up close and personal, and I'll show you a couple tips that'll help make your backyard waterfall project more natural and fun to build. If you'll remember one of the earlier videos, we talked about how big the basin is in relation to the length of the stream. Now we had a really large basin going on here and now it appears to be nice and small. The basin actually extends back to here and we've placed our final stones on top of the basin instead of just outside the basin. And that's how you'll have a nice tight looking well and you really have a jumbo basin below. I want to take the opportunity to point out the pooling effects that we've created on the different terraces because it makes it look way more natural that way and really interesting sounds. The pool that's right in front of me is about eight inches deep and the pool right behind me is only about three and a four inches deep. So what we do is we try and create different depths of pools and it gives different perception when you're walking up and it gives it a really natural feel. So notice as we move our way up where the spillways are coming through, I've tried to put large character stones on either side of spillways because once again in nature, water will be rushing down the stream, pushing all the small rocks out of the way and then working its array around the tall rocks. Right here I'm at a bend that we created and the water comes, hits this big rock, takes a turn this way and works its way downstream. I always encourage my clients to use aquatic plants inside their disappearing waterfalls for the reason that it gives it a nice look along the edges, it helps soften the rock work that you're doing, it attracts beneficial insects like dragonflies, it attracts wildlife like small songbirds and, and raptors, so it brings the nature to your backyard and it gives it a beautiful look. This is one of my favorite parts of the entire waterfall. It's a little 12 inch spillway, but we have these two large frame boulders and we throttle all the water down to one little location and it juts down over and it slows down in a bigger pool and then starts to work its way down the stream. So I love when we go hiking and I run across a thing like this, I try and emulate that in our own water features. We still have some detail work to do on this project. We're gonna backfill some of the edges disguise some of the liner, and plant some more aquatic plants. I'm gonna get back at it. And until next time, I'm Eric Triplett, the Pond Digger.